they have accomplished. Boys, we have breaking news. Fuck Bobby Hall. Bo Horvat has been traded to the New York Islanders. What? Holy shit. I called that shit. Bo Horvat to the Islanders for Anthony Beauvillier, Atu Ratu, and a protected first round pick this year. Yo, they got Ratu. That's pretty good, dude. He's been pretty good lately. Oh my God. Did, didn't I say fucking last week? I said, you give Kuzmenko the 5 2 year because you know you can't keep Bo Horvat. Mm. Bam. Sorry, Bobby. Oh. This is more important than your yep. racist corpse. Sorry. <laughs> that it is. Um, El Bozo. <laughs> what's the, uh, what are the conditions on the first? Uh, I don't know if that's been announced yet. This tweet literally just went live two minutes ago from the Canucks announcing. Uh, this particular trade. So I think hopefully by the end of the show and over the next few minutes, we will likely know more details. But yeah, but obviously by the time people hear this, you would have already known. But Bovillier, Ratu, and a first round pick in exchange for Bo Horvat. That is... Now now look, again, people will say for the Canucks, like, the fuck are you doing letting go of Bo Horvat? Retool. And that's fair. And that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Like in a general sense, yeah, you hold on to Bo Horvat. I, I still, at the end of the day, would view this as mismanagement, not keeping your captain who is just setting the world on fire in terms of scoring goals and, and being a leader on the team. That said, getting someone like Anthony Beauvillier. Eh? <laughs> oh, my God. A couple years ago, Beauvillier was looking awesome particularly as a defensive force. Now, not so much. He's got one year left at 4.2 million. So that's kind of a, like, I mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it's essentially hoping that Beauvillier bounces back. You do get Ratu, who should have been a first round pick. Uh, he went 52nd overall and for whatever reason, kind of plummeted out of the first round. Uh, but so far, he has been incredibly solid. I mean, at 20 years old, he's already playing over here consistently. Uh, last year in Liga, he had 47 or 41 points in 47 games. And this year in Bridgeport, he's doing pretty good. He's played 12 games in Islander this year. You know, as I look at this trade, ooh, Vancouver. I agree with Sin. Ratu is nice. But I, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I think my initial reaction is uh, is a W for the New York Islanders. That's a that's a pretty big get for them. So I'm assuming like the pick is going to be like top ten protected or something like that. Um, Presumably, yeah. In case they miss the playoffs. Yeah. Still, if you're Vancouver, you don't let them protect that pick with that return, in my opinion. Um, then again, he's UFA on a one year, so there's no guarantee Islanders are able to lock him up, but I don't know what their cap situation is, but getting rid of Bovalia, yeah, you think they were going to have plenty to be able to lock him up, dude, Barzal Horvat. That's a pretty fucking good combo down the middle. So Barzal has resigned. Um, you know, he's got a new extension, eight years, 9.15 million kicking in next year. Uh, Bovalia, like I said, was making 4.15. Uh, they, in theory, do have the cap space, especially with $5 million of Semyon Varlamov coming off the books. He won't yeah. make five even if he comes back because Sorokin's their guy. They 100% have the money to sign Bo Horvat long term. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think the Vancouver screwed up. They could have got more. Damn. Like, yeah. that's, that's pretty rough for Vancouver. Like, uh, like, Ratu's good. Not a guarantee. You know, maybe he hasn't. He wasn't, oh man, he was projected to go much higher than he was at one point, yeah. wasn't he? Yep, yeah. he was like a top 10 pick. Yeah, and then he didn't go there, right? He went in like the 20s, I want to say. 52nd, yeah. I think I just saw it was. Oh my he God. fell the second round. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, so. Yeah, people freaked out. He's he's looking good, but still, like, Beauvillier isn't amazing. Like you said, he's been hit or miss. Ratu's looking good, but. Who's to say if he's a true top six and then a protected okay. first? All this for your captain. I, mean, I don't the, know. The man. guy's 20. The, the, our Autorati is like 20 years old. So he has yeah. tons of time he, to figure out. 
Yeah, he, he is. And he is making a, a pretty good impact in, in the NHL when he does play. Um, still, I, I, I still feel like Vancouver probably could have gotten more. At it's the worth very noting least, non-protect that pick, but the New York Islanders are currently they're only two points out of uh, the second wild card spot. The Penguins are ahead of them with three games in hand, but this is the Islanders saying, "Hey, we're we're going for this." Yeah. So that's that's solid. That's solid for the Islanders. That that's the initial reaction. That is a a victory for the New York Islanders and. Uh, I just don't know. And I mean, you know, if that was the asking price, right? Like a roster player, a top prospect, and a pick. I, I'm i not surprised the Bruins wouldn't necessarily give that up because you probably don't want to take away from the roster and the chemistry. You know, I don't like. I don't know if there's a single player on the Bruins' primary roster I'd be willing to give up and risk you yeah. know, upsetting that locker room, even though would I have given up LaSalle in a first? Yes. But it's just that roster player. Like I said, even if Beauvillier is not looking as strong as he once was, um, even if it was Charlie Coyle, I wouldn't do it, just based off of what the locker room's been for the Bruins this season. So, um, All right, Elliot Friedman, top 12 protected pick. 12. Hmm. So let's be honest, the Canucks will have the Islanders' first rounder this year. Probably, yeah. Barring a miracle. So, but... Go figure that the Islanders are able to work that in to say the pick is is protected. Like, the fact that the Canucks couldn't even get an unprotected pick is surprising because you would imagine that next season, the Canucks or uh, the Islanders will be in the playoffs, so they won't care as much about that pick anyway. You let them lottery protect a pick in the Connor Bedard draft. Vancouver. Idiots. Vancouver. The more we talk, (laughs) Vancouver. What are you doing? <laughs> Remember, it's not a rebuild. It's not a rebuild. It's a retool. You got to think about that. That is terrible. Really? Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, um, maybe it'll work out, but the initial reaction is not a positive one. For the Vancouver Canucks whatsoever. 